Question 40 says, find the value of a for which the integral from zero to a of x squared minus five is 50 over three. So to do this question, we're just gonna integrate. So when we integrate, we're just gonna get x cubed over three minus, we put five, now that's gonna be five x and we're integrating from zero to a from zero to a, and that is equal to 50 over three. Nice and easy, soft. All right, to do this question now, we're gonna plug in a as x, or plug in x as a, and so you're getting a cube over three. Now, when you plug in a right here, this is gonna be minus five a, Instead of writing minus 5a, I'm gonna write minus 15 over three, minus 15 over three, and that's equal to 50 over three. That's equal to 50 over three. Nice. So if the denominators are the same, then we can equate the numerators. And so a cubed minus 15 is equal to 50. a cubed minus 15 equal 50. Is that right? A times five is five A. And I multiplied it by three, yeah. That's right. All right, and so A cubed minus 15 is 50. And so now, add one to the power, divide by the power, add one to the power, one divide by the power. Something looks a little off right here. Just wanna check that we didn't make any error. Plug in a, a cubed, a cubed over three minus 15. Oh, minus 15 a, my apologies when I plug this, it's minus 15 a. So it's a cubed minus 15 a equal 50. Now, if you're solving this now, that could be a cubic equation, but what I want you to do is just Use trial and error and try these values now. Plug in five. If you plug A as five, five cubed is 125. 125 minus 15 times five will be 125 minus 75. And 175 minus 75 is 50. And so A works, so A equal five. If it was a paper two, you would go ahead and solve the cubic for A. But you know, let us do that. Nice. Question 41. Question 41 asks for volume. All right, find the volume. Just to write down the formula. Always remember volume is pi times the integral of A, integral from A to B of Y squared DX. That is the formula for volume. So since this is the formula for volume, we're good. So now all you need to do is plug in when x zero to one. So volume is now equal to pi times the integral from zero to one of y squared. And if y is x squared and y squared is x to the four. So volume is pi times the integral from zero to one of x to the four dx. Easy. What is the integral of this? So you add one to the power, so you're gonna get two X minus five. You add one to the power, and so it becomes raised to the four power. Then you divide it by four, but then you also multiply it by the derivative inside the bracket, which is two plus some constant K. And four times two is eight. So what we're gonna get is two X minus five to the fourth over eight. Two X minus five to the fourth power over eight. That is option C. Nice. Question 43. This one says, if Y is equal to three X squared plus cos X, then what's the integral of Y? 
So we need to integrate this. When you integrate three X squared, you add one to the power to get three X cubed divided by three. Then when you integrate cos x, you're gonna get sine x. You integrate cos x, you get sine x. Then these three cancel, so it's x cubed plus sine x. x cubed plus sine x plus some constant. Now, what is the integral of sine x plus two cos x? When you integrate sine, you get minus cos. So you get minus cos x plus, when you integrate, two cos x, when you integrate cos, you get sine. That becomes plus two sine x. Nice, lovely. So it's really two sine x minus cos x. That looks like two sine x minus cos x, that's option A. Nice. Finally, the last question says, the region R is enclosed by the x-axis and the curve y equal minus x squared plus two the lines x equal zero and x equal one. Find the area of R. So let's do that. The region R. What I like to do is sketch it. It always looks better for me. X squared minus two. When x is zero, right? When x is zero, then y is two. And when x is one, minus one plus two is minus one plus two is one, all right? So I'm just sketching the curve, all right? It looks something like this. This is how the curve look like, something like this. And we want to find the area, which is from zero to one. This is the point where y is two, all right? So we want to find this area, this area is r. Nice, this region is R. So we're gonna find this area. So the area R is equal to the integral from zero to one of two minus x squared. It's a habit, I have to write the two minus x squared. Instead of saying minus x squared plus two, I just rewrite it as two minus x squared. When you integrate it, you add one to the power to get two x minus x cubed over three. And we're integrating, of course, from zero to one. We are integrating from zero to one. And so all you do is plug in one. When you plug in one, you're gonna get two minus one over three. Two minus one over three is five over three. That's the answer. Easy question, soft. And so this takes care of add math. 2013. I hope it was just as fun for you as it was for me. And so stay tuned and I wish you all the best prepping for your exam.